playing here is fantastic. I mean, I, I love playing here. When you're from here and you know, growing up, uh, and then you get to come back here and play, it's it was pretty good. And the fans are great yeah. when you're winning. <laughs> it's a great city. It is. I feel like it has everything to offer. Sure does. Especially for food for me. Yeah. <laughs> Big eater. How long did you play here for? I played here for five years. The 94 run was probably the most, most exciting awesome. time of my career, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, I won the cup in Edmonton with those guys, and that was a great team. But coming here, it was, it's pretty exciting when you're from BC and the fans were like, it was yeah. crazy. Having the height that you have and the reach, I know for me personally in practice, I like hated playing against Pronger in practice, so I'm sure for lots of guys, you're a difficult guy to play against uh, with your reach. How do you feel that has made a difference in your career? Those same guys like uh, like Pronger and Chara now, uh, I always looked at the big guys to see how they uh, you know, use their size and their reach to complement their game. You know, take what I could from theirs to to start using in mine, and I had a lot of help along the way with the coaches and everything on how to use my uh, use my reach as best as I can. And yeah, I found as a player with speed, uh, when you'd come up against a guy like yourself with that reach, if he had his stick out, it made it more difficult to get by him. And I think, uh, obviously, with the rules now, with no hooking and holding, I think that. It's all angles for the defensemen and guys with speed. You know, if they can get some room, they got a lot more time. Uh, where before, you know, playing against big guys, they would just hook you and pull you in and slow you down. So watching some of those videos yeah. of the old rules are, <laughs> is pretty funny. I was watching the guys like game us. six of the Rangers game we had in '94, and I, I I was watching one of the plays that I had the puck going across the blue line. I had like two guys on my back, and I was like going, "Man, today they can't even touch you." So yeah. I know for a defenseman, it's got to you have to probably adjust on positioning, you know, angling guys. Oh, let's talk about morning skates. How do you feel about morning skates? I'm a guy that does not need to ever morning skate. <laughs> wow. I think you get used to whatever your routine is. Yeah, I think it is. Superstition. It's, it's more like, of a routine you know, for guys. I think that's exactly it. And yeah. so some guys, like I liked it and did the same thing. You know, it's always just a quick light skate, but I always would do the same drills, personally shooting and stuff like that. What's your game day routine for eating? Most guys eat around the same time. We'll, we'll have our pregame meals pretty early. Most guys, most of us eat around 11.30. And that's when I think we'll really pack away the food. <laughs> we'll have, right. you know, the pasta, the chicken, and then uh, a lot of guys will have a big salad with it. And then when I get back to the rink around four o'clock, I'll, I'll have a pretty big snack. We definitely never had any food in the dressing rooms uh, like you guys do today, but uh, God, we sure didn't eat very healthy back then, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Too many burgers and fries after practice. So, how did you like wearing the uh, skate jerseys that we used to wear? In my opinion, those are the those are the coolest jerseys in the league. <laughs> <laughs> we we talked about this in the room, all the guys. I wonder if it's like cooler to us because it's such a retro jersey, uh, whereas like you know when you would wear it, it, it was probably just a normal jersey that you wore. Right. Uh, you know, for us to put on a jersey that was worn. I don't know the exact number, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, hopefully not that long. But. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. No, you're probably, let's see, what is it? 90s. So, yeah, it's almost yeah. 25 years ago. 